<laughs> All right, guys, it's Phil from Aussie Garage. We're here at Custom Cars and Coffee. And we're starting to get ready to go in. All lined up, all ready to go. So, West Coast Vanners, half of the West Coast Vanners are lined up here. Uh, we've got some that are still on their way. How's things, mate? Good, buddy. Good, buddy. Awesome. Sandy van? Um, Pete, man, how long have you had your Sandy van for? Uh, about nearly two years. Yeah, uh, cool. Oh, actually, just a bit over two years. Yeah, um, yeah got it at the start of COVID, pretty much. Yeah. Um, something to do, something to play with. Yeah, nice. Um, I was looking for a cool car, and this popped up. Yeah, so I bought it. Yeah, nice. I believe this is one of the uh, Xbox vans. Originally, it was one of the Microsoft vans that was running around. Indeed, it is. Um, so it was originally black, as you can see underneath the bonnet. It's still all black under in yeah. the inside there. Yeah. Um, black in the back of the van. Yeah, before we interiored it. Yeah, nice. So yeah, it was originally black. Yep, the next box. Yeah, cool. So um, 5.7 litre LS, had any work done to that or is that pretty standard? Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's standard. I haven't done anything to it. All I've done is the exhaust, um, yep. but at this stage, I um, was thinking about putting a six litre in it, which I've got sitting in the shed at home. Yeah, nice. Um, but then I found out the uh, backstory to it, so I decided to leave it. So oh, okay. Yep. Need, need to find another, a rebuild? Well, I need to find another project for the six litre now. So. Oh, okay. Can't fit in this one? I can, but I don't want to because it's obviously Xbox and it was number two. Okay, you want to keep this one original um, matching. Yeah. yeah, nice, nice. So, um, yeah, so this car came through my shop. As um, people will know if they've watched my channel, I'm about to put a video up on that one. But um, So we've got done all the back, but you've yep. finished that out since I last had it with your electronics and that sort of thing. Yep. So DVD player. Yep, DVD player. It's got Bluetooth so it can play you know, Netflix or whatever else you want on that. Yep. Um, and then obviously got the, the speakers in there and all the rest of it. Yeah, nice. So it's got a stereo in the front that, um, you know, probably blow your ears off. Yeah, and yeah. Then, uh, <laughs> and then that's a completely separate stereo in the back. That yeah, right, runs yeah. That, so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. So that's hooked up through the DVD player and all yep. the rest of it. So, yep. yeah, get the sound in the back. Yeah. All right, so let's roll around the back and have a look at that. To be honest with you, it's been uh, parked up a fair bit lately because okay, the back yeah. window seal was leaking. So oh, I'm no, um, yeah. still waiting on a new window seal to arrive. So yeah. it doesn't go out in the weather at the moment. Yep. So yeah, the last few months has basically been sitting in the chair. All right, no worries. Um, but a beautiful day well, today and we're out. Yeah, perfect. And you know, summer's coming on and that's winter in Perth, isn't it? It's always wet, so we're always in the sheds playing. Yep. Um, waiting for the good weather to bring them out. So, but yeah, yep. like I say, it's a lovely day today. So 
and we've got a great turnout here, which is really, really good. Yeah, awesome. So, uh, any future plans? Um, well, it's going to go in and get some more paintwork done on it, touches up and bits and pieces. Yep. Um, the uh, I'm still thinking about changing the rims over. I'm not really sure yet as to what I'm going to do with that, but yeah, yeah nice. they'll probably put some 20s on it or something like that. Yeah, sweet. Um, but yeah, that's probably about it for this one. Yep. Um, looking for another van at the moment, so once something turns up, that's where the six letters is going to go, and that'll be probably a ground up rebuild. Is the idea. Nice. So plenty of um, plenty of playing in the future. That's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Well, this one's on the road now because it took nine months to get basically back to on the road from when we stripped out the interior originally. Yep. Went to the first uh, motor trimmer and sat there for the best part of three months. Yep. <laughs> then I went back to my house for another couple of months before I can get it in with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we got through it finally. So yeah, um, that's it. Yeah. Now that's on the road, it's going to stay that way. Yeah. Um, and there was a few bouts of COVID for each of us through the whole process and everything, wasn't there? There so. was. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we got there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So the idea is keep this one on the road. Keep working and all the rest of it and then start on a new project. Yep, fantastic mate. Awesome. Alright, well thanks for having a chat with me. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. How you going guys, it's Phil from Aussie Garage, I'm here with Nathan. So Nathan, tell us about your ride, mate. This is my 1978 XC. Uh, yeah, wagons, good for the grocery run. Yep. Gotta love it. It's the 351 stroke 393 now. Awesome. C4, um, mild cam, nothing too crazy. Yeah. And how good long are you in this one for? Uh, a few years now, yeah. Yeah, did you have to re uh, rebuild it from scratch? No, nah, I done a little bit to it, nothing too too crazy it was already painted which i love perfect i hate sanding yep. <laughs> yeah but no nah, it's been pretty good fun yeah not too many headaches so far touch wood yeah yeah, yeah that's it yeah yeah no nah, it's great no nah, uh, it's, it's a perfect looking car the yellow just pops yeah the pine and lime it's a good color yep. factory color um it has the factory seven seats as well which is a pretty perfect. rare option oh awesome yeah. yeah so that's uh always good yep party wagon yeah absolutely so what size tires you got all the way around mate uh 265 on the back 225s on the front yeah yeah awesome yeah classic offset that's it bit to stick to there yeah yeah no, she's great got the smoothies on there yeah yeah um yeah mainly because i hate cleaning wheels Fair enough, mate. <laughs> no Fair brake enough. dust here <laughs> so what's the plan for this ride for you um pretty much just cruising around now it's uh yeah, I'm not doing anything too crazy to it in the future. Um, yeah. Yeah. Are you part of any kind of um, car clubs or anything like that? I'm um, with uh, Rumble and Rocco. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they do weekly meets. Um, pretty casual. A lot, lot of older cars, but yeah, all of them are welcome. It's good fun. Yeah, absolutely. They are going to come on the um, Vanners for Variety run with us, uh, West Coast Vanners. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. So no, they'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're a great club. Yeah. And Ira runs it, and she's. She's good, she's a hard ass, so there's no mischief. Yep, yep, awesome. Love it. Perfect, mate. So, show us some features of your car, buddy. The houndstooth interior here, all re trimmed. Oh, beautiful. Looking pretty nice, everything's pretty original besides the uh, DVD player there. Yep, yep. Someone's got to keep the kids entertained. Wow, that's just it, <laughs> absolutely. 
you've got the GS um, fuel cap. That's it, two-way tailgate. Perfect. Always good fun. And uh, seven seats. Awesome. Perfect setup. That's it. No, she doesn't. It's rare to find those these days. Yeah, that's it. You don't see many of the wagons in too good a shape. They were just run into the ground. Grocery runs and holidays and all sorts, so... Yeah, yeah I remember growing up as a kid, um, we had an old um, old XC van like this uh, with, with the electric uh, tailgate. Yes. And yeah, that thing just... We just ran into the rust of the death yeah, kind of thing. That's it. it. Rust, rust and tailgates hand in hand. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no, but this is perfect shape. The yellow and the black just stands out like anything else. And um, so is this something you're going to keep as in, like part of the family now or are you going to, as an investment, move it on and start a new project or you've got any new projects? I had planned on uh, sort of flipping it, selling it, but uh, then you fall in love with them and yep. can't bear to see them go. So yep, yep. unless something amazing comes along, I'll, uh, I'll be hanging on to it, I think. Well, that's it. And these days, like, to get into something new, yeah, you're starting at 30 grand and that's... Three average to start with. Yeah, a lot of work ahead of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, she's... Definitely no. Good fun. Awesome, mate. Well, thanks, Nathan, for chatting with us and appreciate you. And uh, we'll put it up on the channel and see you soon. That's great. Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. I'm here with Anthony. Uh, Anthony's got this um, HQ that has lots of surprises in it. The more I look at this thing, the more I see. So, um, Andrew, tell us a bit about your, um, about your car, mate. Uh, she's a 1972 Belmont. Uh, it's got a four, uh, LS1 foil 60E in it. Full painless wiring kit. Uh, more custom parts on it than I'd like to think. Uh, a lot of donations from a C6 Corvette because we've got a lot of American parts on it. Uh, VE seats, custom Dakota digital dash, vintage air, all the wiring's hidden, all the plumbing's hidden, um, deck in the back out with a cinema theme with a sunken roof and stereos and bits and pieces. Beautiful. Uh, just kept the outside clean, put a WD fuel flap on it, it's got a nine yep. inch and a wheelwood brake for safety of course. Yep. But just wanted to make it a nice clean sleeper at the moment because everyone just looks at it and thinks it's a bunky, but yep. yeah. Oh, well, semi layered. <laughs> yeah, I must admit when I first looked over, I know it's, it's a patina build, you know, but then the more you look at it, yeah, you realise that uh, everything's happening underneath this thing, eh? Yeah, I've spent five years, I've had it for ten, spent five years seriously building, doing a lot of custom work and just spending hours on it. Everything's homemade apart yep. from the custom tanks, which uh, Lurch Custom Fabrications made for me, so. Nice. Yeah, so um, how far do you think you're through what you want to achieve with this car so far? Well, according to the wife, 100% done. <laughs> uh, but to me, um, I still got a new uh, Edelbrock um, throttle body, holding okay. manifold coming in, so yep, I'm going nice. to make it a vintage uh, look LS. Like so look at like a carby, yep. making bits and pieces, yep. and then. 
I might look at paint, but at the moment, everyone keeps saying leave it as it is because it just fools the normal person. Yep, yep. But, yeah. Well, you just got to look at the stance of it, and you know there's been some um, some decent work going on underneath the suspension, yeah. that sort of thing. So yeah. you said you've got nine inch in the back, yep. um, so I assume you've got all uh, good suspension and that holds yeah. that in there. And yeah, you've got pedders up front and yep. back, so it's all nice and neat and tidy, as strong as hell. Yeah, it's not tubbed or falling or anything, this one? No, is it? No, no, no. standard suspension. There's yeah. nothing wrong with the standard suspension. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's, it's got a lot of hidden surprises, but yeah, yeah, yeah. just uh, wanted it clean. Yeah, no, very nice, mate. Look, I love rides like this. The more you look at them, the more you see. So congratulations, mate. So the time frame that finished, or like you say, you're just ticking away, just ticking away. Yeah, there's there's away. no, there's no end date for it. Yeah, so yeah. eventually, when I do uh, finish it and my son decides to sell. Got his plates on it, so yep. it's his car. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so keep it in the family, mate. That's Love the one, that. mate. So yeah, yeah I like to pass it to my boy. Yep. Nice. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for having a chat with the Aussie Garage, mate. And um, yeah, good luck with the, the finishing off. And um, yeah, nice. No worries. Thanks, guys. Cheers. See you, mate. Guys, I'm Phil from Aussie Garage. I'm here with another Phil, Phil Ways. Uh, mate, tell us about your ride. Yeah, it's uh, reached as a HQ Ute. I think it's more HX than WB in it. Yeah, what's in it? Um, I bought it as is. Um, it's got a 304 stroke to 355 in it. Awesome. Um, it's just about to come out and have a total rebuild. Awesome. Um, other than that, it's been painted on a rotisserie, uh, all underneath, and everything's all 
always clean it's on top. Yep, absolutely. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, and what are you going to do with the rebuild? Are you going to uh, make it even bigger or...? Um, I'll leave it as a 355, but you're putting a big cam and roll oh, awesome. rockers and all that in it. Yeah, yeah. Just a, more more noise and anything. Yeah, absolutely. Get, getting a little bit old for, too fast. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But uh, other than that, um, just it's something to cruise around and yeah, come to yeah. meetings like where we are today to meet people and Yeah, so where did you it. find this one? I got it uh, from Bunbury. Okay. Uh, I don't know the whole story of it, but it used to be on straight gas. And yeah, I didn't like the gas out on it, so yep. I ended up taking all the gas out of it and putting it back on petrol. Perfect. Um, down Cape or where I'm from, gas is getting hard to get now. Yeah. You've got to go looking for it. You just can't pull in any servo. Yeah. Um, I was just I was going to build my own car up, but they were looking for pretty big dollars just for a rolling rock, uh, rolling chassis. So yeah. this come along reasonable. So I picked it up to save me a lot of work. Absolutely, mate. And it is a perfect ride, and it's got the uh, Sandman decals on it yeah. and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, it's it's not a Sandman. It's just done up like one, but. No, um, but it's good. I like I like the two tone of the paint. Um, yeah. No, what colour is the green? Is it like a mint it, green or? Yeah, it's supposed to be a Commodore green, but okay. Um, yeah, I, I can't find the exact name for it. Yep. Um, I've got a little bit of touch up paint um, off a of, um, paint shop down in Bunbury. Yep. And it come back as a fit green. Oh, okay. So, and it's pretty close to the same colour. So, um, and got the pearl white. Yep. So, awesome. No, it's a perfect ride, mate. And yeah. look, you know, you, it's a great car. It grabs attention. So, yeah, you've done well. Yeah, no, I, I like it. So, that's the main and, thing, mate. And everybody's to their own. So, that's why we're all different. That's it, mate. Yeah. That's it. Awesome, mate. Well, thanks for your interview, and we'll check you up with you soon. No worries. Thanks, thanks mate. Andrew's VL. We saw this on the channel before. Awesome looking VL. Very, very nice. See if we talk. If we talk, we're going to get on his camera thing. There yeah, you are. That's all right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>